Good afternoon, everybody. Happy 4th of July, 2020. Um, I was just going to take a few minutes here and show you my fleet of Walther's Mark III Flexivan flat cars with uh, 40 foot Southern Railway trailers that uh, this particular type of trailer the wheels could be removed as well as the legs folded up for the trailer in the front of the trailer and this is a very interesting arrangement that uh, I'm going to read here from the back of the parts diagram from Walther's that's that's interesting as trailer on flat cars TOFC service evolved in the late 1950s many roads began trying to cut costs opening the doors to new ideas among these was the Flexivan system first tested by the New York Central in 1957 designed to speed loading and unloading the design used a special turntable mounted on a standard flat car for testing and a 36 foot trailer with a removable wheel assembly bogey in operation the trailer was first aligned with the turntable and backed into place the bogey was then unlocked and the trailer slid aboard once in position a pin locked the trailer to the turntable which was turned to the loaded position using the onboard hydraulics the successful test car paved the way for the first production models in 1958 these were low-profile skeleton cars designed to meet clearance restrictions on the NYC and carry two trailer units. Simple pivoting turntables replaced the complex and expensive hydraulic units. Early cars handled only 36-foot units, but as 40-foot was quickly becoming the standard length for highway trailers, later mo models carried a 36 and a 46 unit. Cars built from 1961 to 68 carried two 40-foot units. On later cars designed to handle 40-foot bodies, the turntables were moved to the ends and required the service of a specialized terminal tractor. These short wheelbase rigs had a retractable front wheel to simple, simplify lining the truck and trailer with a turntable and a large push pole providing extra reach needed to spin the trailer into place. Lighter and lower than standard TOFC cars, the unique design proved well suited for high speed operation and many cars were built so they could be moved in both freight, pa freight and passenger service. Other roads showed some interest in the system including uh, ATSF, CB&Q, IC, Milwaukee, Western Pacific, Southern Railway and more. Although intended for most types of freight, the system eventually proved quite popular for handling mail. Although successful, the system had its limits. Snow and ice caused turntable problems during winter months, and the special bogies had to be available at any point where the units were offloaded. The rapid rise of containers and the acceptance of industry-wide methods for moving trailers on flat cars soon pushed Flexivan service into the pages of history. Anyways, um, one thing I want to point out about these Walther cars the cars themselves are actually made of metal which you know gives them an excellent uh, weight and riding when they're they're empty if you're gonna operate them without the uh, the trailers on them but I will say that I've never seen one that actually rolled well right out of the box and on every single one of these cars without exception I have either had to use my uh, there's a small little chrome uh, tool I can't remember the name of it but it's used for uh, boring out the holes inside of the plastic trucks so that your your axles of your wheels will spin better and uh, that's usually what I did on most of these because the, the, the wheels were just a little bit too tight and then probably the other half, I literally took the trucks off and, uh, you know, put on similar trucks that, you know, had better roll characteristics. Um, these being Walther's and pretty much made all around the same time. 
Uh, they come with the Proto Max uh, couplers that you see here, which is basically a, a clone almost of KD number no. five. I didn't alter any of those. Uh, I prefer the scale head 58s and 158s, but you know, these come with decent quality metal couplers that'll pretty much last forever. So I'm going to pretty much leave them uh, the way they are. The uh, other thing that I did for these cars is to not have duplicate trailer numbers and car numbers. I have pretty much altered uh, the the road numbers of the actual uh, trailer cars themselves so that they're all unique as well as um, modified the actual trailer numbers. Uh, and also, I don't know if they're still being made, I kind of doubt it, but you could buy this 40-foot outside braced trailer from Walters as a kit. So combining all the the trailers you could get in kits as well as the ones that came on the cars themselves switching them around uh, swapping out bottoms of the trailers where the the, the landing gear is folded up uh, basically you know I was able to get a uh, pretty much a whole uh, the design here was to create a unit train of, of just the Flexivan cars. And I'm going to throw these up on my test track and let everybody see them in motion. 